I'm Nova. I'm a medical student at McMaster University's Waterloo Regional Campus and an avid climber. I'm here at Waterloo Sports Medicine working with sports med doc, Dr. Bob Lee, and I'm here to talk to you about climber's elbow, which is a preventable and treatable injury commonly seen in climbers. The elbow is the junction of three bones, the humerus, the radius, and the ulna. The bony prominence on the inner surface of the elbow is the medial epicondyle. It serves as the insertion point for the wrist flexor muscles. In climber's elbow, injury to the flexor muscles, particularly the flexor carpi radialis muscle, leads to pain and inflammation at the medial epicondyle, which is called medial epicondylitis. On the outer or lateral side of the elbow, there's a bony prominence called the lateral epicondyle. This serves as the insertion point for the extensor muscles. Injury to the extensor muscles, specifically the extensor carpi radialis and extensor digitorum muscles, results in pain and inflammation at the lateral epicondyle, which is called lateral epicondylitis. A climber could have either medial or lateral epicondylitis, or both. Typically, the pain is mild and self-limiting, but can lead to significant impairment in daily activities if not identified and treated. Injury to these muscles and tendons typically happens when inexperienced climbers overload their muscles or put more strain on their muscles than the muscles can handle. For example, repeating the same moves over and over again, climbing long and hard or too frequently, and attempting moves that are above your physical limit, such as explosive moves, or trying to hang onto very small edges, can all lead to injury. Overloading the muscles like this can lead to muscle fatigue, which increases the risk of injury to the flexor and extensor muscles and tendons. Prevention and treatment of climber's elbow begin with activity modification, avoiding doing the same moves over and over again, and avoiding those explosive movements will help reduce your risk of injuring those muscles. Also, avoiding any moves or repetitive motions that are above your physical limit will help in the same way. One way to prevent climber's elbow is to stretch before you get on the wall. It's important to stretch for several minutes before starting to climb, about the length of three songs. Here are a few dynamic stretches you can try before getting on the wall to warm up the joints, muscles, and tendons. Start standing with both arms extended and abducted, with palms facing forward and hands stretched back. Bend both elbows to bring your pinkies to your ears, with your elbows up to the ceiling, then bring your arms back to the starting position. You can also start with your arms extended back, with palms facing back and curled up, then bend the elbows up and bring your pinkies to your ears, and bring your arms back down. You can repeat each of these 10 to 12 times. Another pre-climbing stretch you can do starts with your hands in the prayer position with fingers spread apart. Then rotate the hands down and out and then back again. You can also do this 10 to 12 times. Then flip your hands around so the backs of the hands are against each other and do the same thing again 10 to 12 times. These stretches warm up your flexor and extensor forearm muscles and tendons without reducing the amount of power they can produce once you get on the wall. It's always a good idea to take a few minutes to stretch after a climbing session as well. To stretch the forearm muscles, place your palms on the floor with your fingers pointing towards you. Lean back just enough to feel the stretch in your forearms and hold for 30 seconds. Flip your hands over so your palms are facing up and repeat. To stretch out the shoulders, place one hand on the wall with your fingers facing back. Lean forward until you feel the stretch in your shoulder and arm and hold for 30 seconds. Repeat with the other side. You can also try standing with your back against the wall and feet a few inches from the wall and your arms at 90 degrees and then slowly raising your arms along the wall. This can be difficult if you've never stretched your shoulders and back in this way before. Finally, there are several exercises you can do to prevent and treat climber's elbow. Using the weight of your choice, here we are using plates, you can do resisted wrist curls. While pinching the plate between your thumb and four fingers, perform a quick curl up, then hold for a few seconds, and slowly release. The weight should be heavy enough so you tire out after 10 to 12 repetitions per side. Then, turn your wrist around and do the same thing. 
Performing this sequence of concentric, isometric, and eccentric movements will strengthen the wrist flexors and extensors to help prevent and treat climber's elbow. You can also try this with different hand positions to strengthen different muscles. An alternative to this is doing similar movements with a bar that has a weight hanging by a rope or a band. By rolling the bar to shorten the band and raise the weight, and then slowly unrolling the bar to lower the weight, you will get the same benefit. There are also special foam tubes you can use for this exercise, but these might not be available at every gym facility. And of course, it's important to know your body and stop if any of these cause you significant pain. And if you are concerned that you might have any version of climber's elbow or a similar injury, go see your local sports medicine doctor and physiotherapist. I hope you've learned a bit about climber's elbow and how you can avoid it on and off the wall. If you're interested in learning about more climbing related injuries, check out the other Waterloo sports medicine videos on YouTube. Thanks for watching.